Uh, hey, what's up? This is Alan. And this is Dan. Uh, from Four Years Strong. And we're here to tell you about the time that we... Uh, our merch guy, merch guy at the time, got a gun pulled on him from one of the guys in Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> No, it was one of their crew people. One of Not like somebody people. in the band. Yeah. You don't want to like get and it was that because out of they, we, in the world. I think, I think we were playing there the next day and they were playing there that day or, or vice versa. And we were like trying to go check out the venue and... We were loading in. We were or something, but our merch guy was wearing a backpack and the Bone Thugs vehicle was parked really close to like a wall. And he was like trying to squeak past and his bag was like... Scraping. Apparently scraping the van or something, and they got out and got really mad at him. I didn't actually pull the gun out, but they like flashed it. Like there was a time, there was a time really early on in, in our touring life when uh, we were driving and the van was gonna run out of gas, and it was like winter time. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. And we were like terrified we were gonna run out of gas in the middle because we were in the middle of like the woods somewhere. I we think were, we were in like Pennsylvania in the middle of nowhere. We hadn't seen a gas station. We thought ever. we were gonna freeze to death. It was freezing cold, like five feet of snow outside and... It actually got to the point where we stopped the van. We, you guys like hunkered down with like blankets and stuff and Joe and I were like, I see a light through the woods. We're gonna walk towards the light just to see where we, cause this is also like pre-GPS's and shit. Like we didn't have any idea where didn't exist. Exist. yeah I had a sidekick but what do those do um, nothing when you're in the middle of the woods yeah so but and we did call we ended, did end up calling 911 and they said this number is for emergencies <laughs> <laughs> and we're like well it kind of is an emergency we need to know where a gas station is <laughs> we're gonna freeze to death and they were like well call triple a or something yeah I think we were like 18 then, I think. Yeah, probably. Maybe even younger. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Caused the most damage Okay, I'm not going to say the venue name. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we were at a venue uh, in the States. And I don't remember the reason. I don't think it was a we were with very your strong goals. reason. We were definitely with Sayer Calls. And we uh, had a big industrial fan yeah. in the room. And we just decided to start. Well, there was no cover. There on was it. no cover on it, so it was just like this crazy fan that would just was just open. So we started throwing things into it, and it was just like chopping shit up and yeah. throwing it around the room. It was really cool. And the floor, the floor was kind of weak. Yeah. So we decided to pick the couch up. Try to put the couch like through. standing up this way. So we would try to put the couch through the floor. It didn't really work. Just broke the couch and the floor a little bit more. Yeah, and then there was also another time where we just hid things <laughs> like like cheese in uh, like under ceiling tiles and yeah. behind holes in walls, and I think we spread jelly. This was a long time ago. We're more respectful now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now we see it. Now like, I can be sued and it's really going to affect man, me. Man, if someone so. did that to me, I'd be really, yeah. really disappointed. Yeah. During the beginning of our career when I didn't have uh, rules and guidelines for how close to our set I can eat food, uh, that has become an issue in the past. Where I, Most of the time it waits until after the show, but there was... One show recently where I just left. Oh yeah, you left the stage. In the middle of the song. You threw up stage. and then came back. For me, the only times where I've felt awesome is shows, like when all of a sudden we're playing a show and it's just insane. And yeah, I get like that playing. more so than like backstage, like, oh, this is like the 80s where there's like chicks and drugs. And yeah, we're all married and yeah. don't drink, so it's yeah. like, <laughs> We would we would flop in the eighties. Yeah. We also I don't have no hair, so it didn't go good. <laughs> um, but uh, I would say that the the coolest times for me, um, actually playing uh, at O2 Arena with Blink, was like like I feel like those are the times where I feel it's not really like I feel like a rock star. It's more like I think all of a sudden my like kid brain comes back, and you're like holy hell. Yeah, specifically at that show for me, I was actually like watching. That Foo Fighters documentary in the dressing room backstage, like with my headphones on my laptop, just like I was bored, so I was like just watching that. And 
forgetting where I was and what I was doing was kind of like subconsciously like, man, so cool that they get to do that. And then someone comes in the room and is like, oh, it's time to go on stage. And I was like, okay. And then next thing I know, I'm like walking down the hallway up to an arena, about to walk on a stage in front of what, 20,000 people, a lot of people. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. And then we fucked up. Fucked the first, first note. song. <laughs> it's solid. We don't do well under pressure. Honestly, I would say probably one of the, the 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 most proud moments that I had was so we you know we toured and done all this crazy stuff and then after Warped Tour 2012 we decided to not break up but we just decided to kind of like go home stop touring and just we would come back to it if it was something we naturally wanted to come back to we weren't going to make any decisions about it we were just gonna we were done being together and touring for a while. Kind of hated each other for a yeah. minute there. And, and I think the most proud that I've ever been in the band is when we actually got back together and came back into it with, you know, more adult minds because we grew up in the two years a little bit more. And, uh, and it, it's been so much easier to tour with each other and we get along way better than we ever have and write music way better. And um, so it's it's been, I would say that's probably the most proud that I've been of our band is the fact that we were able to reflect on all the bad stuff and learn from it yeah and come back and do it and actually not just walk away from it actually come back to it we'll see you